Hello and welcome to THR on the scene at Sundance, man. I'm your host, Kevin Smith. I'm not really a host, I'm a guest. Look who's <laughs> next to me, man. Lisa Kudrow and next to her, Kevin Pollack, the second best Kevin at this table, man. <laughs> We're here to talk about Kevin's movie, his directorial debut. Now I see the controls over to. Thank you so much. Say your name. Introduce. Yes, um, I'm Stacy Wilson from The Hollywood Reporter. <laughs> so congratulations to all of you on the sale of your film to Tribeca Films. Let's yes. give a round of applause. Woo! Very exciting. Uh, Very and, exciting. And your Sundance debut as a director, this is great news. It is indeed, yeah. <laughs> so your film uh, seeks to answer a very difficult question, which is, do you need to be miserable to be funny? Yeah, it's a little trite to talk about the tears of a clown. The truth of the matter is everyone has misery in their life, regardless of your profession. The comedians or storytellers uh, just have to find a way to articulate it in a way that's universal or relatable. America's number one fear above death is public speaking. Right. So imagine the pursuit of that as a profession. <laughs> who, who, what? So to me, the film sort of opened up to the bigger story, which is, who's that person? When you're alone and you're solo up there and you can modulate them and you get the laughs and you can build on it, you can go back and forth and you can, the power of like uh, calling back something and having them, it's like you're, you're, you're the one man show. And it, you, the adrenaline and blood shoots through your head in a way that I think is identical to, uh, to uh, crystal meth. What did all of you learn in this process? Um, contributing and also seeing the film and hearing all these insights from people. Number one, I felt cool that he asked me to do it because I was like, oh my God, I'm going to be around a bunch You're of people. You're like, I'm funny? People. I had no idea. I'm going to be on a cool list. Like, <laughs> and I'm, nobody ever calls me anymore, so I was like, yes, right away. But the other thing that, like, that really made me, uh, I, like, I felt weird because I was, you know, he, he told me what the theme was, and, and I'm like, I'm not one of those people. Like, I'm never really unhappy. I'm always like, geez, I'm, I'm so happy to be here. So I told him, I was like, dude, I don't have any. There's no you know, like bitterness in my background. It's just a series of like blowjobs and donuts. Uh, and it, it, I'm not, <laughs> not, not, not a, literal. Not just in that order. Yeah, yeah, not in that order. And Lisa, what reality does this have in, in your life as a performer? You, you don't seem to be a tortured soul. Um, but at the no, same, I don't. I no. mean, I, but my personality is, I don't think I'm a torture soul, tortured soul, but am, am I? I mean, <laughs> but I don't There's think the I am. There's the sweet torture right there. I think I'm pretty, right. <laughs> I think I'm pretty okay. But yeah, and I've not done stand-up. One time I did improvise. But you started in sketch and you've done yeah, a lot sketch, of work like comedy that. Yeah, sketch, comedy, and yeah. I mean, you know, making an audience laugh. So there's that. But to me, stand-up, it's a whole other discipline, right. skill set. A good joke told well is really hard. Who most surprised you with their insight? I think everyone surprised me, honestly, not to dodge the question. I'm Marty Short talking about not being able to be happy for his friends when they first made it and, and <laughs> literally right. having this little moment where he and his wife had to sit down on a bench because he was on his way to meet Bill Murray and Paul Schaefer to have dinner and he said, I can't go, I just, I can't pretend to be happy for them. Really? Yeah. yeah. Hey, ask him this. Are you gonna, what are you gonna do next, docs or features? Go ahead, ask him. <laughs> oh. So, so, something just occurred to me, Kevin. What's up next for you? Oh my God, what a great question. Um, a screenplay I wrote uh, has been greenlit for me to shoot in New Orleans in May for me to direct. And, um, wow. Yeah. Well, Come on, come on, that's awesome. <laughs> and just like Marty Short, I want to leave because I can't deal with your success. <laughs>Best, first, worst, or last. Yes. Okay, so this is like fuck, marry, kill, but right, with exactly. one more option. Like that. exactly. That's awesome. <laughs> you can say that, by the way. Kill, you can start kill, with kill. First, kill. maybe because you're our first group. Uh, first celebrity crush. This is not in any way, shape, or form to be ass kissy. Robert Redford in um, Butch Couch and the Sundance Kid was 100% my first crush. Vivian Lee. Because I was 12 and my yeah. mother made me go see Gone with the Wind. Yeah. Not because it was just opened. <laughs> it was a re-release many, many decades later. And I watched her and watched that movie and went, okay, that's what I want, because that's a story about a woman and she's fantastic. And oh, that's what I, ooh, okay, there I go. 
My first celebrity crush was Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia, and I got to work with her years later, and that was awkward. But the uh, because the whole time I'm like the things I did with your sheets. The uh, but my first like the person who or it's not really a celebrity, although he is now. He's had quite a year. Richard Linklater probably had the biggest impact on me. It was Richard Linklater making Slacker that profoundly affected me because I'm like, oh my lord, like this this counts as making a film, then I want to make a film as well. Um, the thing is, Richard went on to be he's going to win an Academy Award any minute now. Yeah, and I'm and still just a watching. year ago, he, they were sitting here in this lounge, unveiling their movie, and right. incredible. What, is, what does that mean, Will? I'm not. I mean, I'm not saying that. You're not promising. You I'm are this year's. Anything, you but are. Saying, you are Dick Linklater this year. <laughs> First concert you attended? Uh, Run DMC, LL Cool J, and the Beastie Boys oh, at Nassau wow. Coliseum. A giant cock came out of the middle of the floor. <laughs> I didn't. The Beastie Boys did that, and I remember being like, "This is the best moment of my life." Uh, if you want to know what's going on on the scene in Sundance, THR has it, man. An organization so cool they don't even use their, their real name anymore. They just use three letters. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. Wow.